Pika Labs lets you generate some pretty cool AI videos, but has limitations like video length, which is limited to 3 seconds, and generating cinematic motions. In this tutorial, I'll cover how to extend your videos past the 3 second limit, and how to generate better camera and subject motions. If you need a tutorial on how to access and basic prompting with Pika Labs, go watch my video on getting started. I'll cover the more advanced tips in this tutorial. To extend video length, we'll need to generate a video, extract the last frame from that video, and then use the extracted frame as a reference for generating a new video. Here I have an image of a dancer generated using Midjourney. I'll use this as a reference image in Pika Labs by using the slash create command, clicking on the plus one more button to upload an image reference, and then using the prompt of a ballet dance, moving, animation, cinematic. I also add the parameters dash GS20. GS is a guidance scale, which is a number between 8 and 24. This controls how closely your video will follow your prompt. So the resulting video looks good after a couple of tries, and now we need to extract the last frame by heading over to finalframe.net. Check the description for all the links. Now upload the Pika generated video and click extract final frame. Click on the extracted frame to open it in a new tab, and then save it to your computer. Now go back to Pika, enter the same prompt as before of a ballet dance, and then use the extracted frame as the reference image for the new video. Repeat this process a couple of times and you'll end up with a sequence of short videos that are all linked together. It might take a couple of rerolls to get videos that aren't disfigured or deformed, especially if you're working with people. To merge them together, you can use any video editing software. I'll use a free CapCut video editor. All you have to do is create a new project, upload your videos, drag them onto the timeline in the correct order, and then click export. Now that we know how to make longer videos, let's see how to generate better camera motions. One of the most frustrating parts about Pika is that it's hard to generate nice camera motions given a reference image. Given this mid-journey generated reference image of a river, I use the prompt outdoors river moving. There's some camera motion but it seems to just sway back and forth. To get better motions we have to be creative and put ourselves inside the situation that would be able to record a more cinematic video. So in this case, I tried using a video taken from an airplane. The motion is much smoother and looks more cinematic. You can also try other camera motions like tilt or pan. The phrase camera tracking seems to work especially well for generating fast dynamic action. If you're behind a vehicle, using the follow keyword will let you drive behind the vehicle in front of you. Here I'm using a reference image of waves and ask for a video shot from a boat. Using the keyword time lapse will generate some nice fast forwarding video effects. Be patient. These AI video technologies are still extremely new and keep in mind that AI image generation has been worked on for almost a decade to get to the super realistic results we have today. When working with body motions, you want to be as direct as possible. Directly ask for the action like a woman walking which seems to work well or running. Basic motions like these are usually animated correctly. Here's a video of someone floating in the air which worked out nicely. Pika Labs does struggle with some more complex motions. I tried to generate a video of a woman jumping, but she just ends up suspended in midair. For more dynamic motions like these, you want to start with a neutral image, since the first frame of the video will be almost exactly the same as your reference image. And so if you use a reference image of someone already in the middle of their motion, Pika will have a hard time animating the entire motion and they'll just end up frozen in place. Pika is still pretty basic when it comes to animating faces. The videos tend to involve some blinking and wind blowing in the hair. However, if you ask for someone speaking or talking, it animates them surprisingly well. The exciting thing about Pika Labs is the rate of improvement. Even compared to when I first checked them out a couple of weeks ago, I can tell that the video quality and animation has improved noticeably. If you're interested in seeing more content like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll keep you updated.